Prop Fight 2. So last time we saw what makes a great portable toilet in a video game, but now we look at a prop where you lift the lid on something other than pissy turds. Today, we examine the best chest in gaming. Shove it up your butt! Taxi for Mr. Shit Pun. So what makes a good treasure chest, and which game does it best? Hey, that rhymes. Give me a medal, Mr. So-called Pam Ayres. Anyway, let's do this in a format that, once more, in no way resembles a Plinkit review. Number 1. What the hell is this chest doing here? Dump a treasure chest behind a bus stop on the Holloway Road and people will give you the skunk eye. But cover it in barnacles and bury it in an old smuggler's cove? Makes sense to me. Here's a chest you expect to come across, on a genuine treasure island, in the game no tickle it. Spelunky gets a pass because of its unashamed randomness. Let's blame the infinite universe theory to explain the placement of these chests. Or Gary. Fuck Gary. Starbound mixes the logical and illogical placement of chests. Some of the chests appear in settlers' basements and attics, which is logical. I know that is where I keep my dildo chest, I mean normal chest. Classic Spectrum game scuba dives chests have been washed down into the cracks of the ocean floor, which makes sense. They're guarded by a giant octopus, which does not. What the fuck is going on in Biding of Isaac? Who put that chest there? Who? I'm getting enraged at the very thought of this. Fuck Gary! Number 2. Did you truly earn this chest? The way to the chest must be challenging, and the chest must feel like you've earned it. In Dark Souls, this early chest is guarded by a knight with a sword the size of Worksop. This chest is a genuine reward for a difficult... Oh. Ah. Back to scuba dive, and these caves are nasty. If you touch the sides, you lose all your loot and risk death. But find a high score chest, and it's exhilarating, even though it's no longer 1980 fuck knows when. In Vox, there are chests just lying about. The risk reward ratio, which generally should be balanced to give the player satisfaction, is ruined because there is no risk. It's just more stuff to pick up. Uh, however, if the journey is hard enough, you don't even need to have a chest full of Ferraris and blowjobs. Sometimes the journey is the reward. Oh. Number 3. Are the chests rare enough to feel special? If there's a chest every five yards, you get bored quickly. It's the law of diminished returns. Nobody gives a shit if you just keep on churning them out. Day after day. Month after month. Year after year. In Fight the Dragon, levels are created by other players, so some maps just aren't that well designed. Sometimes you'll be so overwhelmed by chests that it becomes an absolute chore to open them all. Some reward, chum. Skyrim puts its chests at the end of challenging caves, some of which are optional, making it all the sweeter when you win the loot based on your own initiative. However, this doesn't make them rare and special because there are 40,000 fucking caves in this game. Whereas in Dark Souls, there's a rarity to the chests which makes them special, even if you can't get to the fucking... Number 4. Did genuine sexy carpenter pirates build this chest, or...? A chest should look like it's made of oak from an ancient forest, not whatever the fuck they make Ikea out of. Skyrim cleverly offers different chests in different situations. This one is tucked away in a hidden locked room and looks like a plain old storage chest, so you know the loot's going to be modest, but enough of a reward for finding it. While this one is clearly the big loot chest at the level's end, suitably guarded by the powerful wizard. Visual cues like that reinforce the game's inner logic and give you a more immersive experience. Whereas this one... I bet Gary made this one. Number 5. Does it contain desirable loot? Opening it should make you go wow. This is not a place to store your phone chargers and those light bulbs with the fittings they stopped using in 1974. And finally, number six. Can it bite you in the ding dong? One day, robots will overthrow us and fly off in a big spaceship. Until then, it's the treasure chests we have to worry about. Stay back! Fuck off, you little mimic bastard! Gary! Gary! No! Stop, Gary! In conclusion... The treasure chest is a hoary old cliché that is often used without much thought, but when used well, it's a traditional and satisfying symbol of a successful application of the risk-reward ratio. But even so, it still sometimes turns you around and bites you right on the ding-dong. 
Out of all the chests we've seen, Dark Souls comes out on top as giving the most reward to the player and, as we've seen, not necessarily in the material sense. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to Randomize User for more stuff like this. Unless your name's Gary, in which case, stick a large banana up your...